binary exponential back of algorithm so what happens in this binary exponential back of back of algorithm see uh, uh, let, let us explain it with the example of fioroloa so in this case what we do is we have one uh, one counter that counter is say k k is equal to 0 initially now what does this counter decides is number of attempts like number of times we are able to send a data or number of attempts we are able to send the same frame on the station in the case of uh, unsuccessful transmission of a frame correct so initially the frame will be sent on the uh, on the uh, on the transmission media correct and then it wait for some time now what is this time this time is equal to 2 into tp that is my propagation time correct so once it waits for the time for the acknowledgement and if the acknowledgement is received before the time out before this time out of 2 into t p then uh, the data is transmitted successfully but if the acknowledgement is not received before this time out time then what we are supposed to do then uh, we are supposed to increment the counter first the counter of number of attempts uh and then check we if we have reached to the number of attempts if we have not reached to the number of attempts then a random number r is to be chosen between 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1 now let me explain you this what is the k suppose uh, initially say initially at the first moment the value of k will be 1 correct so iska matlab r kya hoga 2 raised to 1 minus 1 correct 2 raised to 1 minus 1 kya hai 2 raised to 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1 so my r will be between 0 to 1 correct now once my r is going to be between 0 to 1 i will be waiting for a back of time which is equal to r into tp or r into tfr what is this r into tp tp is a transmission time or a propagation time and we can say a uh, tfr is the average transmission time for a frame so this particular this particular number is going to decide my wait time or a back of time let's take an example ye random number hai random number ka ek uh, ek particular slot diya hai right because that's the reason we can say that the random number is chosen between 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1 now k is 1 so this is my 0 to 1 right so it's a randomly generated number so it may happen that my random number which is selected is say 1 so suppose it is 1 then i am going to wait for tp amount of a time because r into tp that is 1 into tp so tp or amount of a time so that is my back of time correct if my r is 0 it's a random number right so if my r may be 0 also then my system will not wait it will immediately send the frame on the channel again right and again the same channel cycle will repeat it will wait for the time out time if time out happens and i didn't receive the acknowledgement then there will be increment in the counter so now k will become 2 again i have to choose a random number between uh, 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1 that is my 2 raised to 2 minus 1 so 4 minus 1 which is 3 so 0 to 3 so r will be between 0 to 3 it will be chose randomly say my r has become 2 correct 2 hai to iska matlab kya hai i need to wait for 2 into tfr so my back of time will be 2 into tfr that will be my back of time so i will be waiting for that particular back of time before sending the same frame again for transmission so what does this back of time do so back of time creates a randomness in transmission of a frame on a channel right that particular back of time is depending upon the random number between the 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1 that is that random number between 0 to my maximum attempts so it creates a randomness in putting the frame on the channel before my last attempt so that this randomness in the sense of a trans uh, frame transmission time gives more probability of collision avoidance gives more probability of channel to be free for the transmission of a data so this particular back of time gives a access of a channel for avoiding a collision or getting the channel to be free and that's the, the, the reason we have this binary exponential back of algorithm